Hey Nate, What's good to on? see you again. Good to see you, David. How's it going? Very good. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. Interested to hear a little more about your actual career today and how sorry how you got started in this profession. By the first seven years of my career were pretty traditional, uh, working in, in life insurance, doing rotations at a large life insurance company, having a chance to continue with the traditional path, um, you know, financial reporting, um, getting to know the ins and outs of, of the products, but at the same time also doing some consulting work and, and getting into some of the first, I'd say, forays into predictive modeling for life insurance. When building models, we don't want to just build a model for the sake of building a, a neat, shiny tool. Yeah. That it's really important to understand what is the problem you're trying to solve so that you can choose the right problem to solve it. Precisely, I, mean, I think that's sort of bridging those two together where you're saying the actuaries understand the business and then what are the issues that you're trying to solve such that you that's the beginning of that model that you're trying to develop in the first place and then understanding what predictive analytics you can apply to it going forward that the communication interpretation skills are, are really key. Beyond your project team, you're going to be dealing with uh, either management that yep. doesn't have the time, frankly, to get into some of the detail. They want to be able to trust the team that's working on it and trust the answer. Um, or you're going to deal with regulators who probably do have the time to get a little more involved. Uh, and, and maybe you could have to sit down with them and, and, and walk through some of the basics. When we were working together about 10 years ago or so, what about that time or then kind of really piqued your interest and said this is not really a, a passing fad, this has got some sustainability to it? Was there something that kind yeah. of stuck out? About 2010, we had, uh, or the SOA put on uh, a one-day seminar uh, after the Life and Annuity Symposium on predictive analytics. A number of the presentations were picked up by a reporter and an article appeared in the Wall Street Journal. It talked about the, the SOA meeting and it talked about some specific companies and what they were looking at and what some of the proof of concepts were. And to me that showed that um, this is something that there was really an interest in this type of work and that people were thinking about ways to automate the insurance experience. 15 to 20 years ago when I was starting my career, um, I don't think insurance was seen as something that was necessarily innovative. Like any industry we've seen, that old industries have, have been disrupted. That, that kind of disruptive, it's, it's scary, but it's also, it's also exciting, right? That there's different ways to do things and, and ways to make businesses work better.